going guys so right now I'm on my way to homecoming surprise Sarah doesn't know this but I uh, I decided to go because it's my last homecoming and uh, you know I'm gonna make the best of my senior year I'm not just gonna be that kid that thinks he's too cool for school or too cool for all these events you know what um, yeah I'm not gonna be like that so on my way kind of hoping to surprise Zara you'll you'll see what happens on the way home and uh, yeah um, I'll explain what happens on the way home just on my way and uh, we'll see how we what's going on guys so everything went well just coming home from the dance just dropped Zara off everything went uh, really well uh, was there I was able to buy my way in only thing is, is I have thirty dollars not forty so kind of concerned with scary wood but I'll just see how that goes I'll have a discussion with dad but uh, other than that everything went great bought my way in for 20 bucks got in and uh, I had fun and I I mean I tore the I tore the whole dance floor apart I was there was no such thing as a comfort zone the dance floor was my comfort zone so uh, that was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with uh, Zara. She looked gorgeous, as always. And, um, I'm glad I made my decision. Because, yeah, I'm glad. So, um, that is going to be it for Saturday's vlog. It's pretty short, I know. Um, let's see, do I have anything to say to you guys that will not like ruin the mood of like the awe moment? The fact that I chose to go to homecoming last minute to surprise my girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> um. Oh, here's one thing that I'll mention of what I was doing earlier that I tried to video, but it didn't work because the batteries died. So I was going to do something illegal, not what you think. I was going to go to Walmart and uh, buy like those old raffle tickets and they kind of looked like the ones that were at the high school for a student or adult or that kind of thing and uh, they look nothing alike and so I walked in they don't just drop it in the bucket he looked at them each time so uh, well that didn't work out so I just bought my way in which was good I guess but uh it all worked out nicely. It was totally worth it, and uh, it was it was great. I had a wonderful time, and it's uh, it's about ten ten thirty one. Dance usually ends about eleven, but uh, Zara and her ride group and everybody left at ten, so uh, that's gonna be how that is. And um, I hope you guys have a good evening, day, or night wherever you are. No, I'm still not done talking, I'm sorry. Um, one thing that uh, has been on my mind um, is how this whole, you know, publicized, like, you know, politicized, you know, stuff about, like, you know, the Las Vegas shooter or something, you know. Nobody knows except the shooter. You kind of can't dictate that. So... Just kind of saying, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on TV, and the best thing we can do is move forward with our lives and, uh, you know, make the best of it, like me. Today, you know, I decided, you know, I'm not just going to sit here and mope in my house while my girlfriend's out having a good time and just let my head destroy me. That's not going to happen. You know, if you want something to do and you want to do something right, you got to do it yourself. And if you want to have fun, and if you're not having fun and you're sad and depressed, it's your fault. Sorry. I mean... You may have issues. Everyone does. There's always someone that has a worse issue than you are, so you should always be thankful. So, no matter what the worst person situation in life is having, there's always someone that's having a worse one. So, no matter what's going on, be grateful of what you have, because you may lose it, and sometimes you never appreciate what you have until it's gone. And I know how that, how that feels, and I was able to get a second chance to take it back. And that was today. Today was my chance, and I took it, and uh, I was going to get in no matter what was going to happen. I was determined to get in. I was going to have fun with her, and I was going to surprise her, which I did, which was great. So, uh, you know, it takes that determination in life to uh, move forward and move ahead, and uh, 
sometimes you just gotta, you know, kick it in the face and just say, you know what, this is my choice, this is my life, I'm gonna live how I want it, I'm gonna be happy, because I can, and no one's gonna stop me from it, so, you just gotta get that mindset, guys, and I guarantee you'll probably live a lot happier life, because when you realize that you are in control of everything, and no one else can really dictate to you what you can do or what you're gonna do, because no matter if someone tries to convince you to do anything, it's still your choice to take, to go with them. You can still say no, no matter what they say. They could call you a wuss. They could call you many things. And if you let that, if you let that beat you down, give in. It's your fault. Sorry. That's just how it is. So uh, hopefully the lighting is all right. I tried to turn these lights on. It doesn't distract me from driving. I don't understand how that helps distract other people, but I'm fine. So um, you know, sorry. Um, some people say that he was a rich man that was, you know, getting taken advantage of, well, I mean, you know, someone wants to use you, you could just slap them in the face, or, you know, you could just close the doors on them, you know, just don't understand, you know, when you understand the fact that you are in control of your own life, and that you have really have the power to do anything and everything you want, I mean, because if you don't do your homework, you get an F, you chose to get that F. Whether you're a bad test taker, that doesn't matter. You still could have done something to get a better score. You know, because there's always something to do. No matter how good you are at sports, no matter how good you are at school, there's always something better that you can do to improve. And that's the one thing that you have to, to keep your mind set at, is that, how can I improve on this? How can I do better? So, that's my little lecture, and that's just my little thing of how I made it through today and how, you know, I let yesterday get the best of me. Yesterday wasn't a good day for me, and uh, I let that happen. I didn't go to the football game. Zara kind of got in an argument with somebody. I should have been there to uh, help her out, and uh, she wasn't. And so uh, she was alone, and she didn't have anyone to support, and uh, I'm not going to let that happen again. Because I know what it's like to not feel supported or anything, so that's complete bull crap. Never let that happen. No matter how your relationship is, no matter what argument you are having, no matter if you say you hate each other or you just say crap about each other, always support each other or don't be together at all. Because I support Zara no matter when she supports me. So that's a perfect relationship right there. There's always going to be a few bumps and grinds, you know. Crap happens. Life happens. Life isn't always sunshine and rainbows. Life is technically hell. Earth is really hell. And it's up to us to make the best of it. We could either burn in the flames or we can crawl out of it. So, it's just how it is. And uh, a lot of people don't understand that. A lot of people are pretty close minded. But I mean, when you're into the, the entire picture and you're just so zoomed in on it, you gotta zoom out and see the entire picture. I mean, even go outside the frame, think outside the box, think of different ways to solve a situation, think of different ways to create a better situation. Because if you see something coming at you and you don't react to it, come on. You should be able to see something coming and you should know how to react to it. That's how we live. That's how the military life is. And uh, I believe everyone should live that way because, you know, that's just how things should be. You know, if you see it coming, react to it, get it done. If you see a threat, take care of it. No matter what way you feel is best, take care of the threat long as it benefits you and it doesn't make you sucked in to become the threat. Because, you know, like a great quote in The Dark Knight, you either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become a villain. So, I use that quote in my mind sometimes to react and go, hey, you know, sometimes what you think can be justified isn't maybe justified in your right mind, but to the person that you are making these actions towards, just be outright insane. So, put that into consideration on the stuff you do and the things you say and uh, the actions that you take in your life. Yes, do it for you, but do it for the right of you, not to boost yourself up because you're gonna, you, can, you can do that just living a normal life. Well, not normal, just living a good life. And that good life is based on your standards that you set. If you think, if you look at some beautiful woman, say, oh, I can never date her because look at me. Well, 
Um, he who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually right. If you say you can do something, you can go out and do it. If you say you can't, you're going to hold yourself from any opportunity that will come upon you. So, take every opportunity to live life because it's short. I'm 18 right now. feels like it was just yesterday. I was 6 years old watching Spider-Man in a hotel because my roof blew off. And, uh... It feels like it was just yesterday I met Zara. We've been together almost three years now. Time goes by, man. Don't let it... Don't miss it when it goes by you. And each time that balloon flies by your face, you make sure you catch it. Alright? Go with it. If you feel a little tingle in your stomach, if you want to do something, just plow through it. Because all that is is you guilt and drought... And, uh, doubting yourself and you know it's the times when you get that tingle in your stomach and you don't know it's a time when you should do it you know there are you know bad moments that are obvious but when you got something fun to do and you're like oh I don't know it's kind of out of my comfort zone get the hell out of that comfort zone that comfort zone is just so you can feel safe well life is dangerous so you gotta go out at full speed ahead no retreat that's what the military is all about. That's why we wear our flag on this shoulder facing forward because we never retreat. We always face it head on. So take that advice. Um, that's what kind of inspired me to talk about this today is because I went to homecoming and I made it was a great decision. So uh, now have a good evening, day or night, wherever you guys are, and uh, live life to the fullest.